Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. Sorry if I had to reshoot that video. I have to redo the Generations Ultra Magnus review. So sorry for the three viewers who watched my video. I had to correct that video because I forgot to state how much the figure cost me and where I got it from. Those are the most important details in reviewing. But we got Universe Classics Magnus. No, we do not have the packaging for this figure or the other gun. It's a used figure. But now we're going to get down to comparison. And that's the transformation sequence for the figure we're going to compare this to. And the last time I did that video, this figure was glitching, so... Whoops! Sorry about that, folks. I hit the tripod stand again. Not again, but once. Sorry about that. My hand slipped. But the transformation on Animated Ultra Magnus is very simple. Flip in his feet. Fold up his legs. Flip in his other his feet. I'm doing this transformation off camera. But here is Universe Classics Ultra Magnus compared to the animated one. And he rolls. Universe Classics rolls very well. So does this one. Now we're going to get down to transformation. We're going to unpeg this section, which becomes his gun. Fold that up. Fold out the barrel, the gun firing point barrel. Fold down these panels to form the main section of the legs. Flip down his feet. Untab the truck sections from one another. Fold out his hands. Rotate his arms. Flip out the head. Fold up this piece. Cordian that. Rotate the waist around. Flip up these parts. Split the legs. Fold this panel in. Fold it nice and flush. Second verse, just like the first. And there we have Magnus Prime in his robot mode. And it's pretty well painted, pretty well sculpted, if I do say so myself for an old school figure. And I do not have the Optimus Prime to compare this to. All the paint on this figure is really good. Not bad for an old school figure, if I do say so myself. Probably wondering, how long have I had this figure? I probably had this figure since I got it from Game Again. A long time ago, before they closed because of the corona. So, this is a figure I wanted to review for so long. It's been on my bucket list. So glad I'm getting a chance to review it. Wondering, how much did I pay for that figure? I'd have to say around $10. Because I think that's how much I paid for it. 
sure it's missing the smokestack gun, but it's a used figure. And used figures ain't half bad. And now we're going to compare him next to my other toy find. And it's none other than another figure I reviewed that is also Ultra Magnus. It's animated Ultra Magnus right next to Universe Classics. This one is good, too. This one is nice. I will eventually get the Siege Ultra Magnus, so I can pair this shell with the new version. Well, technically, old version now, but hey, new and old. I am going to have to save up a couple weeks for that. But I am going to to review Ultra Magnus eventually. You know what I mean, Siege Ultra Magnus eventually. Well, that's all there is to say for Magnus. And yes, I've had this figure for so long, and I like it so very much. If you like Ultra Magnus, pick this guy up. And if you find a good price on Animated Ultra Magnus 2, pick him up. You won't regret it. No matter which version you get, it's not a bad Magnus. And no, I do not have the upgrade kit to turn him into regular Ultra Magnus. Because that kit is very expensive nowadays. If you ever find that kit for a good price and want to send it to my channel so I can upgrade this character, I would appreciate it. But that's all there is to say for this review. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.